I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. Now, if you are an honest person, you did not think this tweet was anti-Semitic. First and foremost, what is death con three? Did he mean death con three? which would be a military defense position, not an offense for those of you that are offended. <laughs> okay, military... pause this. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't hear that part yet. That is, that is rich. You can't just say something that is so really hateful. Yeah. You, you, you just can't say that and there's no accountability for that. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. He was literally trying to deflect. He does this all the time. I tell y'all this, mm. he is on a quest for white validation. Kanye doesn't love anybody because Kanye doesn't love himself. I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? This morning, Adidas, which helped make the rapper's Yeezy shoe and clothing line a multi-billion dollar business, severed ties with him. I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. It's hard to ignore his recent string of controversies from his White Lives Matter t-shirts to his recent anti-Semitic tweets. And each occurrence has brought into question the rapper's mental health as he's been previously open about struggling with bipolar disorder. However, clinical psychologist Andrea Bonnier says it's a dangerous and ableist misconception that bigotry and anti-Semitism are symptoms of a mental health problem. Because of Kanye West's words, a direct hate of Jewish people the fame musician has sparked a new wave of anti-Semitism. Jewish communities are on edge after a stream of anti-Semitic incidents. Last week, the FBI warned of a, quote, broad threat against New Jersey synagogues. Celebrities like rapper Kanye West have been pointed to as promoting anti-Semitic tropes. And Nets point guard Kyrie Irving has even been suspended for anti-Semitic posts on social media. And even with all of this, Vanderbilt defensive backs coach Dan Jackson, seen here, came out in support of anti-Semitism. He still holds the position with the school where he is paid handsomely. Kanye is two steps ahead of everyone, Jackson wrote. People try to silence him because he thinks for himself. If they have an opinion that is opposite the mainstream, they're called crazy. More people need to wake up and speak their mind. Vanderbilt Athletic Director Candace Story Lee responded almost immediately after the post surfaced. Lee condemned anti-Semitism of any kind and announced that the university's Equal Opportunity and Access Office will be reviewing the incident. While the review is ongoing, Jackson will step back from his role with the team, per Lee. However, Jackson still coached in Vanderbilt's loss to South Carolina after issuing the apparent lawyer-written apology on his Twitter. So what exactly is Coach Jackson supporting? Former TMZ staffer Van Lathan has an idea. If you look at what I said at TMZ, I said, hey, Kanye, there's real life, real world implication to everything that you just said there. What I say after that, if I can remember, it's been a long time, was actually uh, 12 million people actually died because of nazism and hitler and all of that stuff well the 12 million part 12 million people part is not in there because they took it out and the reason why they took it out is because it wouldn't have made sense unless they kept in kanye saying that he loved hitler and the nazis which he said when he was at tmz when i saw this i was like oh i knew that this was eventually coming they he took was a out Nazi. the part of him making those type of comments, but they kept in the part where he made disparaging comments towards black people? Correct. Hmm. Jackson is in his first season on the Vanderbilt coaching staff. The Commodores as head coach hired him following the 2021 season when Jackson was an assistant at Northern Illinois.